Okay, so here's the next story. I've, I've been a bit innovative here with my headphones and put the microphone like this because it gets just too damn hot on my ears. Okay, so let's start this story. Um, this is another story from the collection of the old stories. This one is called Ashbrushes. Okay, so let's see if you know what that means. Again, I'm not going to give anything away, I'm just going to tell the story. So, nos princípios do século XX, havia muitas bruxas. Estas eram pessoas que se aproveitavam da ignorância ou da desgraça dos outros, dizendo que, com umas benzeduras, faziam voltar o namorado ou que curavam todas as doenças. Quando o feitiço não resultava, era porque alguém continuava a fazer mal. Se a pessoa adoecia, Talvez fosse por ter ido à casa de alguém onde se bebeu água ou se comeu um bolo que podia estar embruxado. Ou se calhava alguém a olhar mais do que uma vez, então o mal era do mal olhado. Cada mal tinha sua benzedura própria, como por exemplo o constipado, o nervo torcido ou a dor de rosca que era o apêndice, apêndice. ou então, oh, sorry, ou até uma ajuda para o rapaz não ir à tropa. Para todo o mal que aparecesse, para todos os desejos, havia sempre uma benzedura para resolver o problema. Hoje, ainda há destas pessoas, mas já não se chamam bruxas. Têm é um nome mais moderno e mais bonito são chamados videntes. São os que deitam cartas, mas, afinal, o sistema de enganar o próximo é o mesmo. So, a quick resume of this story. This is saying that at the beginning of the 20th century... Actually, I'd just like to point out this very cute little picture here first. So, at the beginning of the 21st, 20, 20th century, there were a lot of witches. So, he's saying that these were people that would take advantage of the ignorance of people or their misfortune. And they would make potions and they would make promises that they could cure all diseases. And when the, when the disease didn't go away or when it, the spell didn't work, they would say that it was because somebody was continuing to do evil. So if the person got sick, then they would say that maybe they'd eaten some bewitched food or something like this. So they always found a way of worming the way out of it, yeah. Or they would call it mau olhado. Mau olhado is like the evil eye. And then they're saying that every single ailment had its own cure. Um, so, constipado is actually a cold, by the way. It's not constipation. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so they had everything. They always had something to resolve the problem. And then he goes on to say that today these people still exist, but they're no longer called witches. They're called clairvoyants. <laughs> but the idea is still um, tricking people into basically losing their money. That's an I kind of a quick resume of it there. Any questions you've got about this text, let me know in the comments below. Any particular verb changes or words that you don't know, please, in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching.